we get going here, you'll see on the left is, is the overhead view in Tampa, which is great. Okay, on the right is the same swing. So this is the cool part is we got the same swing. We got a side view and an overhead view. So let's start with the overhead view because it gives us a good idea of, of his toe line. So typically we talk about players and this, you, you know, this view is kind of funky because if we look at these, you know, the batter's box lines, they're kind of not parallel to each other. Okay, so I think it's kind of a distorted view a little bit, but if we look at his toe line, if I draw this line parallel to the inside corner of the plate, okay, typically you want your stride to be, you know, your toe line to be parallel to that white line or even closer to the white line. If we look at him and I play this through, you can see how far to the left his toe line ends up, okay? That's a lot. Now, what is this? He looks like a golfer in this position. His hands are way behind his body, which is not the normal. Okay, even players that don't open their stance, typically their hands are going to be more behind their head in a straight line behind their head, not behind like the middle of his back. So that's crazy. He creates a ton of torque. If we look here on the right and I bring him to his torque position and heel plant, you can you can see in his jersey how much he winds his body. Now, if we go here and we say, okay, his chest is facing about there and his hips are facing about here, it's, it reads 42 degrees. 42 is, is pretty much the highest that I see. Um, uh, Baez, 42 degrees sometimes. Donaldson, 42 degrees, okay? This is a lot. Most players are 30 to 40. Like um, we looked, did we look at um, Correa? I can't believe. <clears throat> did we do it? We have not done one yet. We could in the new year, but we've done Harper. Harper we've done Harper. Who else? We did. Yeah. Um, Harper Rose. We did Torkelson. Right. Yeah. Um, anyway, no one's been this much. So there's only a handful of guys that are above 40. But somebody like Correa is like 30 degrees. 10. I mean, that's 12 degrees less than this. Okay. So this is all. This is a ton of torque. Now. If his toe line, if he didn't step that far open, would he create this much torque? Some guys can, because torque is not about your feet, it's about your hip line. So a lot of guys that have, you know, good hips that can create 40 degrees of torque without stepping in the bucket, so to speak, without stepping left. Now, maybe he has mobility issues, maybe he has flexibility issues that don't allow him to do that, and this is his way of doing it. So if you're a pitcher, you're like, I'm just going to throw the ball here. Right, I'm gonna throw it on the outside third of the plate, quarter of the plate. I'll, you know, there's no way he's gonna be able to cover this. And what does he do? This pitch obviously is a mistake, and it ends up right down the middle. It's actually middle in, and he crushes it towards center field. <clears throat> and it comes back to the 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 you know the the conversations we've had about pitchers aren't perfect. Because really, you're getting, I mean, here's the end of his bat right here. Like, the end of his bat isn't even covering that outside pitch. Now, on outside pitches, he'll let his hands go away from him more to try to cover it. But, I mean, this is a pitch, this is like the worst place you could possibly throw him as a pitcher is one ball in, you know, let's see how high it is. If we look at the other swing on the right, yeah, it's at the thighs. So not only is it somewhat in, he, he's somewhat deep on it. He hits it, you know, at his front knee. That's why he hit it towards center field, right? He didn't he didn't pull this ball is because he was kind of late on a pitch that was, you know, middle in. But if you look at the rest of the swing, so if we look at the right here and we really break this thing down, he gets to a great torque position. We talk about where your hands should be at launch. So at heel plant, the top of his top hands about his ear, bottom of his ear, at his cheek. As he goes to rotate, let's see what his head does. So we'll draw that line on top of his head and in front of his helmet. You can that see. Move much. No, it moves late. So, you know, as he rotates, he really rotates back behind it. Probably because he was he was late on this fastball that was, you know, right down the middle. And if we look at his swing plane, so let's let's check this out. So we can see we're going to be able to see why he 
Why he struggles in the average department? Okay, so we're looking at his swing on the on the right, his his side side view. If I draw a line on this pitch coming in, it looks like it's coming in at about four or five degrees. Okay, but if we look at his barrel, his barrel, you know, when it's over his back calf, it's below that green line. I'm gonna. I'm just drawing these circles right where the barrel is, so you can see he's underneath. Now he's starting to come back to that line. He hits this one about perfect. Okay, and now his barrel's starting to move up a little bit, more than the pitch. Okay, so does you know what this leads to is? Well, he's under. If he's under back here he's going to consistently hit the bottom of the ball when he's late or miss it. So he fouls off a lot of good pitches. The problem is if he's early, and this isn't that early, but if he hits it out here by his front foot, he's actually over that line. So he's going to topspin balls to the pull side, and that just doesn't work for him. So when you have a swing that does this, okay, when you have a swing that goes underneath the pitch plane quite a bit, it has to come back up to the pitch plate, and typically when it comes back up, it comes back up too steep or steeper. So what you'll have is a guy that hits a lot of home runs to center and right center, and when he hits balls out in front, he's probably going to top them. Now, not all the time, but that's going to be... I bet if we pulled up a spray chart with Chris Davis, we should probably do that, actually, um, to see where his home runs. I bet a lot of them were towards center and, and right field because that's where his barrel is on plane, right about at his front knee. It's not on plane at his front toes. So if we watch this one, we'll finish up here on the, on the left. We'll, we'll look at this ball, you know, the overhead view. Notice where this pitch was in, and because he hit it so deep, he actually hit it towards right center field. Okay, you can see that ball leave towards right center field. And that is kind of his swing. He hits the ball deep in the zone. He gets those hips wide open, but he keeps his hands back. He hits it deep in the zone, and that's why on pitches outside, he can cover it. So the only, you know, going back to how he's not good out in front, he's not good out in front probably because his front foot steps out. So that as that foot steps out, he's going to get further away from the plate. As you hit the ball out in front, his barrel is going to work towards his front foot, right? It's going to work to the left. And so what that means is if he's going to be successful, he's got to hit the ball deep in the zone and he's got to, um, you know, make sure he's far enough away from the plate to hit it that deep in the zone. And he's going to have good power to center and right center field. Yeah. There's one thing that I, I'm looking up his spray chart right now. Um, I looked it up on baseballsavant.com while you were talking there and uh, all of his home runs, they go to all fields. Yeah. I mean, it's really evenly distributed. Uh, maybe not so much to center, but definitely left pole to pole, left left field to right field, left center to right center. So, And this was in 2018. I didn't count the last two years. 2019, only 23 home runs. Last year, shortened season. 2018, when he had that career year, yep. that's what I pulled up here spray chart-wise. And, and he hits balls to all field. He hits for power. He has – you could argue that he had – in that time period from what 2015 to 18 he had maybe his scouts would say 80 power because he hits balls to all field i would agree with that it's right down the middle maybe slightly 